everybody, and welcome. We are here at Ohio Media School, and we are going to be discussing an interesting topic today. I'm here with Susie, Dante, and Jasmine. I am Matt. Um, let's go ahead and dive right into it, and go ahead and bring up the topic that we're talking here today, Susie. Hi there, I'm Susie, and basically we want to talk about why is on learning beneficial for the participants that are trying to learn like there's lots of reasons why online learning could be potentially good and uh, bring a lot of education into people and I think one of those reasons might be that it can enable people with spectrum disorders to be able to learn without alter like stimulation like extra stimulation what do you think about that kids with extra stimulation yeah I do f I feel like very much because I have a Family member that has extra stimulations, problems like that, and he can't really do like large classrooms. Last year of college, he couldn't. He had to do virtual because he had very problems with large people in classrooms. So yeah, I'll, I'll stand with that. I agree because sometimes I just need quiet. It's a lot going on. It's a lot of distractions. So I, I definitely agree. It's very helpful. Sometimes um, seeing shiny things or bright colors, loud noises, and like getting bumped in the hallway is enough to set a person with spectrum disorders off like for the rest of the day. It's almost similar to PTSD, what it does to their brain. So it's very important to, to be mindful and provide ways for these people to learn as well. Um, I think it can also eliminate social constraints, like a fear of like being public. Like some people are just scared of being out and about they they're afraid of people judging them like on their appearances um yeah i've had days where like my hair is just it is so much and i cannot get it to cooperate and Thanks. like the ponytail <laughs> is just not Same. good i like the idea that you could just roll over on your bed and literally True. be like Hey, I'm in class. No video needed. You, you know, yeah. like, and you have that video blurped out. They don't mm -hmm. need to see you with your messed up makeup that you forgot to take off at night, you know. <laughs> no morning traffic, driving in. You know, I'm it's bald, so it doesn't make sense with the hair, but I get it. <laughs> no morning traffic. That's something I hadn't thought about it. Yeah. Like, it might be better. Mm, me neither. Better for Cost the efficient, world. gas. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Public Especially depending on how many days you're coming back and forth commuting. Yeah. Right. Just like me, I'm on the bus, so it is it is a beneficial thing with that because I do like most Thursdays I stay home, but I'm start, starting to come back. But I <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it helps too if you have like the software on your computer. Right. I don't think it would be as different um, if you did. Fortunately, the resources are here sometimes, but. You can you can see what they're doing on that and have it set up. So I like that a and lot. Yeah, and a big thing right now, especially since the pandemic, is childcare. A lot of people don't have that. So if you're able to stay home and do virtually and have your child there, because you know when you come to school and now you have to find you know daycare and everything else. So I think that's very beneficial for parents. Yeah, especially maybe single parents or even parents that's working. And so if you're able to stay home virtually and have your child with you also, you don't have to worry about child care. Yeah. That's true. Or people that maybe they're in domestic relationships where, where there's abuse going on and they maybe they can't leave at that time, but they still want to further their career. They can take an online course. That way they have something to put on their resume. That way their time at home is not wasted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do like the it does make it available to everyone. It's not really subject to, and if you do have that sick day with COVID, you know, and then you're quarantined two weeks, you don't necessarily have to be out. Right, because you're still competing you know, online. Yeah. And that's, like, similar to a personal experience I had. Um, not too long ago, I was in a car accident, and so I wasn't able to come physically on campus, and that was very convenient for me to be able to log on from at home mm -hmm. and not miss and not get too far behind and still interact and connect with school. So that was very helpful to me. Yeah. And I'm very grateful for that. Like, that was awesome to me. So, because I was, like, really concerned. And I'm like, I got to be out of school all this time. And then I was like, virtually, that, that'll that work. Yeah. So, that, from a personal experience, I definitely. I think. love having the option of both, too, though. Yeah. Like, it's definitely a wonderful option. For me, it's not because I had an accident. It's because I woke up too late. <laughs> I'm still We've here. We all had those know? mornings. Like, right. This isn't Same. good Same. because I was like nine, 
20 and I'm waking up like, oh, so. And it's helpful. And some people still like to come on campus. Like, if you can do it safely where you can, like, set up if you have, like, a mount and you can let it play so you can hear at least hear the audio while you're driving into school. I know some mm. classmates do that. They still want to come, but they maybe have a late morning. And so they set it up on their phone so they can at least listen to the audio and, you know, before they get here. So that's very convenient also. Yeah. I like the fact that there's also less of a chance to misinterpret lessons. Like, if everything's there in black and white, you know what you need to do to take and do your classwork. And they do record for the virtual stuff now, right. too. So, like, if you did miss it, because sometimes it's just overwhelming content all at once, you get the option to replay and repeat. And it helps with the tutorial of going through the software, too. And scientifically, <laughs> there's people that actually learn better in the evening. So, like, there's night owls, and if they take and they study at nighttime and they do their classes at nighttime, they'll learn what it is that they're trying to learn a little bit better. Mm. Exactly. Especially even if you're coming physically on campus, like you said, to have that, to go back to, mm. you know, to be able to have it recorded. Yeah, and, I was just and thinking that. Yeah. yeah. To have it again for the virtual option, for, for that Reflect affirmation, you know. That's awesome. It also allows, like, especially right now with COVID and everything, Online education can allow for people that, that maybe they have immunocompromises, like they, they're sick, you know, they have cancer, they're going through chemotherapy. That doesn't mean that their life stops. They still want to keep their mind sharp and still Absolutely. keep learning. Mm -hmm. And it, it evades from the boredom of being ill to be able to take classes, but you can't necessarily go out and risk getting sick because with cancer treatments and chemotherapy, you know, one of the biggest fears is not the cancer, it's not the chemo, it's the little illness that's going to kill you mm -hmm. because, like, a stuffy nose to us is really not good for somebody that's on chemotherapy. So it right. helps them still be able to go on with their life and work on their education. Like, strangely, that's a perk in what COVID did <clears throat> by really taking what was almost inevitable and just accelerating it, you know, a lot faster, especially Zoom. Right, you I was know, say that Zoom it made a lot of ways for virtual meetings work. All of that, yeah, it's amazing what now what they they think they can do. You know, <laughs> like why did I need to come to the, all these unnecessary appointments? Right. Right. You know, <laughs> like, a virtual meeting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same applies with the class. You know, or I think it was too also a benefit that when our teachers got. And they were forced to be quarantined. That we were still able to actually have them because they were still able, you know, um, especially like asymptomatic matters. Like they were still positive. It was just okay. We know you, you know, Jack John. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we're here. We see you, Don. You know? <laughs> right, and we could still learn from them, and they were still able to share themselves with us, which is absolutely wonderful. Yeah, yeah, for sure. There's also people that like live in Alaska, and maybe they they want to take and take classes from like say Harvard. You can take Harvard online classes, and they're actually free. So that's kind of cool. That and is cool. Yeah, yeah, and it, it enables anybody to be able to put a Harvard class on their resume. Wow, I hadn't even thought about that. That's actually yeah. I'm about great. to apply right now. Right. <laughs> you know, sign me up. And it's like uh, I think we like the intimacy, but. Trying, try not market with online matters today. You know, to have the options open, you need it in your business. You know, you need to have it now, again, as a necessity, whether it was like, oh, no, well, maybe we could do this on, or I guess it was an expectation, like, oh, why can't I just do it like that? But now it's mandatory. Mm -hmm. so. there's, there's always, like, points of access as well. Um, a lot of... Libraries have points of access, so even if maybe you're unable to access online activities, you can take and go and get a coffee and sit in a McDonald's parking lot mm -hmm. and tap in that way. There's there's lots of ways to access it. Virtual is good. Yeah, virtual yeah. is amazing. I agree. Everybody in this table stands for virtual. You know, <laughs> I, I, I will, you know, like, because I'm a very forward person, I, I do prefer online Especially since COVID, it would or I pr I prefer in person. I'm sorry, yeah, I was um, because of COVID. But I I I 
I'm an optimist. I could see the benefit in it. And if it gets transitioned, where it still doesn't limit you, you know, it still gives you that opportunity. Yeah, you're still learning all that information. You're just not going to be as hands-on as we are as in the building at the school. But other than that, yeah, you're getting every single information, all of the teachers, and that's, te- that's telling us during the day. Yeah. I agree with Matt. Yeah, I'm more of an in-person, but virtual, definitely, when you need it, it's there, and it's very helpful. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So that that sums it up. I thank you guys uh, so much for listening uh, here at uh, uh, Ohio Media School. Um, Once again, we have Jasmine, Susie, Dante, and Matt. Um, Thank you. We're out. Have a nice day, y'all. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you. We appreciate it.